Hot Sale started um, first, week in first week of December and it will run to the last, pretty much the last week of February. We brought in the wet weather programme. Um, the last couple of seasons we lost a lot of obviously playing time for the kids. Um, so that's in terms of knock on effect. Those development hurts their game, hurts them. the bigger picture to be honest because they are the future. Hot Sale, if, if you think of Fiber Side, um, everyone was aware of Fiber Side. Um, and it, it pretty much is a five-a-side game, but it's designed to get the maximum out of the game. Getting the ball down, uh, playing a lot of, uh, lot of touches, um, very quick style of football, whereas obviously when you're outside, it's a lot slower. Um, you obviously can't get as many touches on the ball and with the, especially like I said with the pitch not being great with the local facilities um, you can't get the type of control you can get on the ball. No kick outs from the keeper, it's all thrown out under arm or over arm, there's no throw ins, no offside, it's all about the game. It's all about what you can do with the ball at your feet. But it's all about skill, it's all about the development um, of players as futsal. You can see it there, the manager's trying to go to do this, that, but it's too quick. And the kids have got to think what they're doing themselves and decide which is what it should be all about. They want to be playing competitive games against other teams. And if, you, if you're playing throughout the winter, and the facilities mean that you can't play outside, they've got to be having some sort of competitive games. If the pitches were rained off, um, foggy as well this morning. Yeah. And foggy, yes, yeah, there'd be nothing. The futsal and having these venues where we can apply it gives them something obviously more constructive when the football's off. It was a good match and we played well. We enjoyed it and it's good to have a match in the winter.